Hi there, welcome to the new lecture on data storage strategy, uh, which we use it like a hot, warm and cold data path. So traditionally, if you look at uh, how the data used to be stored in your on-premises, so the data, whatever you're going to store it on your on-premises, we never considered its uses and the life cycle. But when it comes to cloud, everything is uh, changes because we need to think about data where we are going to store for that storage we need to think about the access a life cycle of the data and other compliance requirements definitely it's going to come up as a first priority so that's what we're going to learn within this lecture about learning how the concepts of hot warm and cold data path can be determines how we are going to store this compute data so that being said we will first look at understanding about warm and then we will follow for cold and cold or hot and then we will understand when to use or when to consider these warm or hot or cold data paths that's what we're going to learn within this lecture that is the objective of this lecture let's move to understand about warm path let us look at the common scenarios if you look at the common scenarios today in a IT environment like you might have a IoT devices for the data aggregation and the devices could be sending data while not really producing anything also it might send the IoT devices that data right so this highlights a very common challenge for you when trying to extract insights out uh, of your IoT data the data you are looking for is not available in the data you are actually getting so maybe you know some or other point of time maybe iot specific data which is coming is only important for you and other time it might not be important so in that case you might have to utilize by using a combination of data um, getting with other sources of data uh, and not just iot data device data you might have to think about other source of data and apply those rules to determine whether uh, or not the mission whatever it is producing is very important data or not based on that rules you may uh, have to you know, capture the data or store it so again these rules will change from company to company and uh, that uh, completely uh, differs so the warm data is about analyzing as the data flows through the system we process this stream in real time save it to the warm storage and push it to the analytics client later point so azure platform provides many options for processing the events and uh, popular choices is definitely the for you stream analytics so stream analytics can execute the complex analytic analysis at a scale for example uh, tumbling sliding hopping windows or stream aggregations and external data source joins for even more complex processing performance uh, can be extended by cascading multiple instances of event hubs or stream analytics jobs and azure functions so this warm storage can be implemented with the various services on azure platform uh, not just limited to uh, Azure SQL database or Azure Cosmos DB so you could implement anywhere this warm storage so this is all about a small uh, information about the warm path now let's understand cold path of course you know we would you know definitely look into the requirements and the description uh, where we are going to use this cold path and hot and warm path so th I think you know that way it would be easy instead of I you know explain to you you know all of this stuff so if you look at uh, in this document uh, we would be you know, looking into the requirement side like you know when you have the data requirements for knowing uh, to change very frequently then you're gonna use the hot data path and when you have a requirement for when processing or displaying data in a real time you would actually go for the hot and when the data is rarely used and the data might be stored for compliance or legal purpose meaning you know just for the archival kind of very similar in the blobs the way we use you know, then that's called in you know, a cold data path and uh, used for data that is consumed for a long-term analytics the batch processing then we use the cold data path 
and when you need to store or display a recent subset of data that's very recently used the data of that data may be you know consumable for a small analytic analytical or batch processing then warm data but you know very frequent or real time data you would be you know, go for hot and a little you know slower or you know just the last week's data kind of thing you know then you would you know go over the uh, warm but you want to you know archive for a longer term and you don't want to use very frequently just uh, just the purpose of the compliance and legal reasons then you might be you know designing that into the cold data part that's how you're going to use this uh, method that being said i think you know we could you know conclude here uh, this lecture and the way and we'll catch in the next lecture thank you for watching this we'll catch you in the next lecture